Guys, I'm Silvio and welcome to this new video. As you may already know, I have intention to add an arbor section or a wharf section if you prefer to my 2021 Christmas Village edition. And as I'm going on with all my crazy reasonings, I realize that I still miss something, that I want something more for my arbor section. I want a rowing boat. Maybe a couple of them, maybe three, I still don't know yet. Okay, I know what you are thinking right now. I don't care because I have no intention to add an arbor section to my Christmas village. Okay, perfectly right, you are absolutely correct, but please just don't forget that a rowing boat may be also useful if you uh, will add a lake section or a mini river or a mini beach to your Christmas village. So after all this tutorial, because this will be a tutorial, won't be that uh, useless after all. And I also know that I have already shown you that I have uh, a boat from Lemax and a couple more smaller boats in kit that I still need to build for my arbor section. But I want also those uh, rowing boats. And I have searched for them on, uh, on the internet, uh, online. I've searched from Lemax, from other brands, but I haven't found anything also on any marketplaces uh, and uh, sincerely I found a couple of pieces that could have been uh, added to my arbor section but I don't rely to the scale I don't know if uh, they will fit so I thought maybe I should build those rowing boats but as always I am not aware I don't know if uh, it will be achievable with I have on end and where to start from. So uh, let's start from something. Where do I start uh, generally? I start from uh, research. I have an idea on how a rowing boat is made on the form, on the geometry of a rowing boat. Sorry, I need my glasses. But where do I start from? Generally, I start from uh, uh, research. I start from an internet research. So uh, let's go with this research. Rowing boat. Okay, uh, rowing boat. Let's go with some images. Okay, many, many rowing boats. I will exclude uh, especially those kind of rowing boats. I need a small rowing boat, not a competition uh, rowing boat, anything like this one, maybe uh, this one. Okay, so uh, uh, this one will be absolutely... Uh, this one was one, maybe one I've researched, yes. I still don't know if this will be useful for my uh, arbor section, so uh, okay for the form, for the dimensioning, everything else, okay. But I need to start, okay, this is a, a design, a 3D design, and I'll, here we have another, uh, another example, maybe this one. I don't know yet, will be good for having uh, an idea on how it is designed. So, uh, yes, it is designed as, a, I don't know, as a rectangular mm, form. Here you can appreciate a rectangular form, yes, but also with uh, some point here, with uh, some uh, point there and the curve here okay uh, and also a rowing boat uh, may need an oar a couple of oars or maybe paddles if you prefer like this one of course and uh, uh, some uh, something more to uh, let the people sit on the in the uh, rowing boat 
mask so a rectangle maybe with some arcade section and um, and here and another uh, curved section here okay how can I realize it mm, let's divide it in uh, different uh, uh, pieces I have a base here and I have a side here another side there and the back side here the sides here will be joined here on the on the uh, Mm, far um, point ahead of the boat and here we have uh, uh, another uh, flat section here the lateral sides will be um, curved okay so one two three four main pieces four main pieces yes it can be achievable what will I need to use maybe I will need to use I don't know uh, some uh, styrofoam yes I can use some styrofoam uh, for the base generally I will use my nine millimeters thick uh, uh, extruded styrofoam that will be good for the base here okay for the base that will be uh, good for the base but not exactly for the sides here or the back because bending a 9mm thick uh, piece of styrofoam isn't that easy so um, maybe I will need to uh, cut some uh, less thick uh, pieces for the uh, sides and for the back but I'm not there yet uh, this could be a great solution yes then uh, I will need to also design and build uh, some ore mm, yes this is uh, doable with some I don't know maybe some skewers here for the rounded part here and um, popsicle maybe for the main ore here or maybe I will go with uh, uh, some uh, um, more styrofoam here for the main surface and uh, uh, skewers for, for the rest of the ore of the paddle I'm not there yet I still need to, des to decide the design and the dimension also the scale okay so I have seen what I want more or less achieve is it achievable yes with styrofoam yes also uh, but I need some plants of course <laughs> I can no go uh, and free doing that so where do I start after having seen some picture I start from this software this is rhinoceros or rhino if you prefer rhinoceros 3d or rhino 3d I'm not here to do a tutorial on how to use it so let's go and show you how I proceed it is a 3d software so you have a, a top uh, front right and the perspective um, um, designs I generally use the superior or front let's go with some uh, design let's start with a oh, with a rectangle okay maybe let's try to go with uh, uh, four centimeters 40 millimeters and as always I will um, show you also right now or somewhere else the um, the measurements in inches so let's say I will go with 40 millimeters by uh, 90 millimeters let's go with 90 millimeters okay and then let's make the okay here I have the starting point okay uh, rectangle <laughs> obviously the rowing boat is not rectangular let me go with some more design let me go with uh, an arc there let me go with an arc I will take the middle here the middle of this side and the middle of this side let's go from the middle of this side to the middle of this side and let's go 
let's go let's say with an arcade section uh, maybe here it is not enough I will go with here I will go with the 70 millimeters there okay then what I generally do I will have to make it correct so I will cut this section with this other design and then I will take this away then I will duplicate or make a specular design with this as this is going on then I will so cut this section with this other section here okay so let's cut it with this then let's eliminate this and here we go and here we are let's me let me join all these together and this is taking some form yes this is taking some form uh, I am satisfied with this form I don't know yet uh, maybe it is uh, too short for this dimension let me go with uh, something more let me just uh, uh, have it duplicated here and let me just uh, explode it right now and instead of having nine millimeters let me go with the ten millimeters so with the ten more millimeters there ten more millimeters there let me join this here and let me join all together this so okay this is better let's see what happened if I'm adding 10 more millimeters to the design let's explode it let's eliminate this section here let's add some more 10 millimeters there and 10 millimeters there and there okay okay right now let me just join all together okay this shape I think will be more suitable okay yes it will be more suitable yes okay uh, let's have these three forms this is too short this is in the middle maybe this is good enough let's see and the base will need to have this form here this design here let me do something uh, crazy there let me double this one and you have seen let me bring it another time you have seen here that the, the the form here is curved even for this section so maybe a little section perfectly uh, right there perfectly uh, um, straight here and then curved here very curved here and less curved here to the back of the design so this one isn't perfectly done correctly let me adjust it a little bit let's see what I can do let me explode everything let me erase this this and this and this and this let me go for a little section for 25 millimeters maybe 23 millimeters I don't know 23 let's say 23 millimeters from this side and let me go with uh, some more from the middle here let me go there so let me erase this one 
and let me go with another arc section there with this arc section here from here to there going here okay let's see what it is like when I specular do this orthogonally and then add a straight section from this point to this point okay let me join everything together no this one is joining okay let me do something more then I will go this one okay so maybe this design is more correct than this one the previous one this is the new design so I think that this design could be better uh, better suited even if I've already shown you that this section here is very very uh, short is very very short in composition of the two of them so uh, let's go here um, yes I think let me just try something more let's do undo 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 and let me just do something more crazy there there okay I will let me just go this way I will redo it like that from this point to this point having it at this point then let me go as before with this I know I'm going very very quick but my intention is not to show you how I use my 3d software maybe in the future if someone needs some help with it let's see what I have here okay no I prefer the the other the other version too much curved here so undo 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 let's go uh, with the previous one let's eliminate this one and let me go once again here let me duplicate this maybe even this one duplicated orthogonally yes and let's go this way do I prefer this version yes I prefer this version the base will be suitable with everything let's see in 3d in 3d right now I have nothing okay let's see what I can do in 3d okay let's go with some 3d let's start with this one here uh, let me just do this one uh, an offset let me just do some offset here and let me just go let's say 25 millimeters there 25 millimeters there okay here we go let me just uh, add uh, from this point to this point another curve let me just do something crazy let me just do some sweep I will take this one this one and this one and okay so these very quickly done with no thickness at all can be the form of a uh, of uh, of the boat here okay okay why I've done such a thing going offset perfectly right I haven't shown you anything okay 
if I'm going with something like that, let me double it. Let me bring this one to, to, to 25 millimeters. Let me redo exactly the same thing I've done previously. It says, let me just add a line from this point to this point. And let me sweep everything together as I've done before to create a surface there from this curve to this curve using this okay and you may see that this is not well designed perfectly perpendicular vertical mm, I don't like it that's why I prefer to go the other way let's do it with this other section here let me go offset this one and there let me go 25 millimeters not with this one but with the external one let me go up 25 millimeters there then let me do the exact same thing I've done previously I will go this point to this point and then let me do a surface there with these points here okay let me just do this you may appreciate that in this way having the sides going from uh, inside toward the outside it is more shaped it is more uh, of a good looking design okay this one is absolutely not right <laughs> firstly because you have no curved section here and there and this one is uh, absolutely right for what I have intention to do here. Okay, you may appreciate here from each side. So uh, I will have a base here and then I will have one piece of styrofoam from the left side, one piece for the right side and one piece for the back side. And then something else that will absolutely cause no problems for the bench and everything else. So, yes, these I can think that these will be uh, treated. Uh, if you are wondering, let me just have, uh, as previously, this one moved there, then let me go offside this one with this one okay let me do the exact same thing I've done before 25 millimeters then let me go with a line from this point to this point and let me sweep everything right there exact same process but with not curved but this time instead of uh, having a perfectly straight ear perfectly straight ear perpendicular I have some inclined section here and both of them are uh, are doable are uh, achievable yes of course they are achievable but uh, the second one the curved one is more realistic as a more realistic design there okay these other two are too short these other two are too short and uh, so I don't like them at all okay this one is too short this one is too short and the real design will be in this one marked here in yellow so let me go with this design here and I will surely print it on some uh, paper now uh, or or paddle if you prefer 
Let me go with some design for the OR. Let me go with some design for the OR and I'm just going with this, maybe this design here. So a rectangle, then some um, fillet here and then some design, some S design here in this section here. Let me see if I can achieve that. Let me go this way. Let me go with one 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters. 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Let me join this section here and let me fillet this area there. So a fillet. Let me fillet. Uh, four maybe too much no it's good four millimeters okay so now i have this section for the s side down and i need to be symmetrical so let's see if i can go with uh, a curved section here let's see if i can go there if i can go three millimeters down then and look as the curve will go there four millimeters there then five millimeters so one two three four five millimeters then let me just add three more millimeters here okay let me duplicate this section here as I've done before because I have no intention to do it twice. It is a symmetrical. All object in normally can be uh, designed with symmetry. So this is symmetrical. And let me join everything here. And let me go inside inside here could it be the right dimension yes I don't need to be precise so let me go some more let's say 45 millimeters these 45 millimeters then here um, no I am not satisfied because there is a difference so let me go further let me go 55 millimeters or 50 let's go 50 millimeters let's go 50 millimeters from this side and here okay two paddles inside the boat can be fitted let's join there because I also need to be certain that when not used the paddles the oars can be um, fitted inside so let me double it let me displace it this way they can be fitted the two of them inside and if I'm going uh, there also this way can be fitted inside in this other way okay so no problem at all fitting uh, two uh, paddles two oars inside the boat uh, yes, I think I will go with this design. Maybe the oars here, the flat, uh, flat section of the board of, of the oars, sorry, is too wide. But I think I will go this uh, way. So this will be surely some more uh, styrofoam here and then uh, skewers there for this section. But I'm far from this solution here. 
and let's go once again with the 3D. Okay, I know. Uh, why haven't I gone this way? So let me just go uh, one millimeters or two millimeters there in order to show you that even a paddle can be achieved and have, and have it done correctly. Okay? Good. I think I will go with this uh, design here. So let me just hide uh, this one, this section. Let me just hide this other section here and all it is in uh, 3D. Uh, okay. One of the big uh, problems I need to resolve is how to get these, the side inclined. Um, on the side of the uh, base here. I will naturally need to cut some angle on the base. I'm not there yet, but uh, I don't want this to be too long, so let me just see if I can't print that. I need uh, to print it uh, horizontally, yes, I need uh, to Print it one to one. Um, one millimeters. It is one millimeters to one millimeters. One to one on paper. And then I will go print. Okay, it's printing. And I will use this design here, this curved here, as base for my uh, rowing boat. Yes, I will. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> the printer is printing. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, let me just wait for the design to be finished. Yes, I think uh, this will be the final design. Let me just, I don't know. Sorry for the background. I will show you. No, impossible to show you. Sorry, right now I will show you when I will start. Uh, with the design. So right now I have the design for the base. I have everything sketched. Let me do the real work and see you in just some few uh, seconds. Okay guys, <clears throat> here we go. Here is the paper I've just printed a few seconds ago for you, not for me. And uh, I will go with this design hope you will see correctly right now so here i have my nine millimeter thick uh, extruded styrofoam that i will need to use for the base and for uh, right side left side and back side here so uh, i just remember you that i have a minimum of uh, four uh, centimeters here in the middle where I, where I have the uh, straight lines here four millimeters 40 millimeters sorry 40 millimeters fire four centimeters by 11 by 11 centimeters because it is the inside that I shoot 11 centimeters or 110 millimeters here I will use as always my uh, my nan here to measure if it is correctly every uh, um, width was correct because uh, the nan will fit inside everything but you can imagine that this is too short also these could be worked but this is for me this is perfect because even two passengers can fit inside this boat and here two one passenger hit here one passenger there two passengers will fit inside it instead this one one here let's have some space there and it won't fit there and here two one here let's say there and one there yes will fit but not enough and inside each of these two design here the uh, horse the uh, paddles won't fit inside so i will go with this design here okay 
it is derived for from this design with the curved section here instead of going straight here with a perfectly 90 degree angles there so let me cut uh, the base here and i will duplicate the base here before going and cutting everything and i will use for the first time my new uh, styrofoam cutting board okay let's go let me first do this very quickly then i will use a scissors to cut everything this time let me just go this way and this way then i will go then i will go with some scissors and cut everything correctly with the inside here i don't need to be precise at the microns precise at the millimeters exactly i just need some design for the base and i will go with the design for the base Here we go. Okay. Then right there. Okay. Then let's say I will go right here so I will cut I will cut here let me go quickly here let's see if I have enough space here yes let me go this way here okay let me anyway cut it here okay so let me cut this one firstly okay then I will go this way and from this other side too here let's go this way let's see if I can use my new cutting board cutting table here i will go and free this time so let me just do this and then i will go and free let's switch on i have the pedal here so let me just bring it uh, some more there okay and I will go with my pedal here and uh, let's see if I can cut correctly ah. 
I think you haven't seen anything, so... So now I need something to do the side and I can show you that bending this thickness here is not good at all. Now let's just see if I'm going this way I won't get the result I want because it is not correctly done. Let me just do this. Not because it will be at 90 degrees okay so first thing let's see if i can go some uh inclined here let me go let me see if i can go uh 15 uh 10 degrees 15 degrees so let me go let me check if i can go inclined there let me just see if i can go this way baby give me some i'm thirsty he grinned as he stumbled through the bar well he said give me some love give me some love give it all Okay, stop it there. Let me see if the nun will fit inside. Yes, and yes, yes, and yes. Still fitting inside, and this time it will be inclined. Okay, so it can't, it can be done right there. Okay and here and there so and this is quickly done let uh, let's just see what i need i need the two pieces from the side having an eight of uh, 25 millimeters 25 millimeters and a length let's say of uh, let's cut something more 14 uh, 14 uh, centimeters 140 millimeters let me go this other way back door the cedar black el camino 1969 well he said give me some more love give me some love give it all his filthy fingers say Yes, I'm at 90 degrees. So I will use the dimension here. Let me go to, let's say, 45 millimeters there. There. And there also 45 millimeters. okay let me just use this support here in order to get straight with the cutting okay there let me have check it here
good so let's go let me check this is more bendable this is too thin and this is as you can see more bendable okay I've uh, eliminated almost three and a half centimeter three and a half millimeters so this is more bendable let's do the same thing with this one okay I've eliminated and this is bendable okay this wasn't bendable as you can see if I go further I will break it this one is more bendable this one and this one are more bendable here and there okay you can see and the cut with the new cutting board is as straight as it can be so now let me check here I will go this way and you can see that I'm going this way and then I will need to cut in order to fix everything and that will be the starting point there okay so now uh, the first part is finished because I will simply need to go with some uh, gluing together and this time I will not use as always my PVC uh, glue, my white glue because I don't have uh, the time to wait or to wait for this to uh, get uh, dry and I will go with uh, some hot glue, with some hot gun glue okay in order to finish everything right there and then adding the straight here okay then the back side i will reason about the back side uh, further uh, now what i need i need to design some uh, uh, some wood because this is supposed to, to be a uh, uh, wood rowing both there so let me go with the setup and I don't care if it is it isn't pre very precisely done the border but because when I will go with this side there I will have anyway a perfect uh, design for the uh, rowing boat I don't know yet if I will go on this way and then close it or this way and then close the back I don't know yet okay anyway I will go see you in just a few uh, minutes uh, with uh, the new uh, setup I will use see you okay guys uh, change of set obviously uh, I've changed my set uh, before gluing it there like that I need to design the wood uh, last season you have seen me doing it with a uh, uh, small soldering station that I will uh, I use it to uh, carve directly into the uh, styrofoam and get uh, some uh, veins and etc regarding the uh, wood uh, simulating the wood this time I will try to go simply with the uh, pencil there uh, right now with a pencil because I can show you that it is achievable even with a 
a pencil simply with a pencil right there so let me go uh, let me go uh, right there and I will try to start here in the middle I have uh, switch on the uh, hot gun glue
wake up early in the morning And when I come home at night Everything is covered in darkness And the sun is out of sight I guess I'm living in the dark age yeah, Because I sure can see no light Ever since you left, there's been nothing but a cloud in the sky And there's no day, there's no From a clear sky I wasn't ready to say goodbye Ever since you left There's nothing but a cloudy sky And there's no day There's only night Now I'm sitting all by myself Trying to see the light in the dark But everything is covered in sadness
little higher. Okay, guys, this is the final result before painting and cleaning up some of this mess. So let me just clean everything and do the painting two maximum three colors and it will be done let me do the cleaning thanks Okay, last thing guys, let me just use some tool here to get something. So this is it, I think this is all, I've added some support for the uh, horse, for the paddles and everything is done with some white 
two shades of uh, uh, brown and some green and some uh, very light brown almost beige and this is everything I think sorry I got some glue some glue here and there and finally I added the, the support for the horse for the uh, palos and this is all I think and uh, I think that this will be uh, suited for the Christmas uh, village this year so the paddles here let's say one it is inside and one it is outside and so this is good as it is okay <clears throat> and that's all guys and uh, thank you uh, and <laughs> See you in just a few seconds for the outro, guys. Thanks. Welcome back, guys. Finally, my outro. I know all my tutorials are always exaggeratedly long, but I can't avoid to have this flow. It is one of my many flows. And the final result. Here it is, the final result. The rowing boat completely done from scratch to uh, the support for the paddles for the uh, oars there look yeah i have the uh, or inserted inserted sorry uh how long did it took me to do it three and a half hours is it achievable with the tools and materials i had at my disposal obviously yes because here it is the rowing boat completely done Will it be suitable for my Christmas village? Also yes, because let me just show you with the rowing boat with the nun inside, as always, use it for example, even in the front side of the boat, here you go, and the uh, dimension, the scale, is completely in line with the figurines. Will I use it, as I just told you? Yes, and maybe also two or three more of them maybe one or so upside down like this in the on the beach i don't know yet but yes uh, i know not everyone will use a rowing boat for uh, their christmas village but now you know that it can be done and uh, if you need it you will know how to do it so as always, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.